What is up YouTube? Redneck Training here back with another video and today is mail day. I've been accumulating some mail for some time now and I just, I've been dying to get it open because there's things in here that I haven't opened yet and it's just because I wanted to open them on camera so I've been holding on to them for probably about a month and a half now but there's only like two more products that I'm waiting on, but for some reason the tracking shows it stopping when it hit America. It came from China. One of the items from China is already here and they were both ordered on the same day. And for some reason, the last one, all tracking stopped the minute it hit the United States. So waiting on that. And then there's just one more item that I'm currently waiting on, but I said, forget it. I'll do a video for those another time and get into everything that I have here. Um, it's too much for me to pick up to show in this screen right here. So when I jump down below, I'm going to go ahead and let you see everything that's going on here. But I am also hosting a giveaway. I've mentioned it in my previous video. When I hit 200 subscribers, one lucky winner is going to receive one of these Rebel Clash Elite Trainer Boxes completely sealed, sent from me to you, all expenses covered. So... All you've got to do is comment on this video, Rebel Clash. You must be subscribed and you have to comment down below, Rebel Clash. I can see who is subscribed. So remember, if you're not subscribed already, smash the subscribe button and smash that bell notification icon to be part of the notif notification squad. And you'll be notified when I post a new video. But again, if you want to win this Rebel Clash Elite Trainer Box, all you need to do is comment down below rebel clash make it rebel clash with an exclamation mark on the end of it that way it's easier to pick out out of all the comments and be subscribed to the channel but that's all that i have for that spiel and i'm gonna dive down here and let's break into this mail so as you can see there's quite a bit of stuff here i got those i got the box i showed you and then there's another massive box here so it's going to be fun, and I'm also going to open up, um, throughout the video, I'm going to open up the last three of these Galar 10s, little mini 10s that I have. I have Sobble, Grookey, and Score Bunny right here to open up. I opened the other two in another video, but unfortunately that file got corrupt, and I lost it. But it's all good, I didn't get any pulls out of it anyway. The only good thing I got, if I can remember where I put it, are the two art cards. They come with art cards on or inside of these. Huh. Oh, there they are. Yeah. They come with these little art cards. And when you put them together, they make a scene. And I have the original ones up behind me from the first set of 10s. And once I get all of these, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to connect them all and I'm going to laminate. I have my own form of lamination to an extent with these and I'm going to solidify it and it's going to go up on the pin board and since i'm talking about the pin board i'm going to go ahead and put these off to the side for now oh no Ugh. so much stuff on this table that brings me to this from china let me go ahead and get it open all right this I've been waiting for for a month. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and they're finally here. My gym badges. I mean, look at that. The original Kanto badges, and it looks like they are labeled, so I like that. Here's the Johto badges. All of these are going to be going up on that pin board behind me. We got the Unova badges. So I can't wait to get all these sorted through and get them up on the board behind me. It was definitely worth the $30 that I spent. Granted, I had to wait a month for them, but I have all six regions. Well, let me scratch that. I have six of the technical eight regions that they have badges out for because I'm missing the Orange Islands and then also the Kalos region doesn't have the badges out yet and of course we all know about the Alola region so 
I'm gonna try and figure something out for all of that so that I can have everything that I need. They might make, I don't know, they might, might make the crystals from the Alola region. I'm not 100% certain. And then here, actually, I'm gonna save this one for last. Let's get into another one here. This is one of the ones that I got off of eBay, and I'm really excited about this one. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot which one this was, but forgot how bad the condition was, but I don't care. It is an original copy of Pokemon Red version to add to my collection. That sticker is a little rough, but you know, it's whatever. I'll eventually get a mint condition copy for it. And just for the sake of everything, just to make sure it turns on. Yeah, I'm gonna use the classic Game Boy. Whoops. Look at that, I haven't seen that in a while. It means I gotta clean it. Let's see, will it start this time? Let's try that again. There we go. Huh. That is crazy. So this may... <laughs> this might not work. I really hope it does. There we go. Now she's starting up. I'm so excited about this. This is one of the ones that I'm super excited about. Is it gonna start? No? Wow! I may have gotten a faulty Pokemon Red version. So, I'm gonna leave that here. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this next. Oh yeah! Here, we got Pokemon Blue! So, let's give this a quick checkeroo. Alright, this one appears to be booting up. Alright, so that one's working. Proof that it's not the Game Boy. Let's see. Is there a save file on this one? There is! Three badges, Pokedex of 17. Alright, and they're in the Rockets hideout. So, Pokemon Blue version works. Now let's go ahead and get into this next item. Is this another one of the games? Yes, it is! So much tape. Actually, I may not even need to... Break the tape. The original Pokemon trading card game for the Game Boy. I'm I'm super ecstatic about all of these pickups because I've I've been wanting to get them again ever since my parents got rid of them when I was young, so it it's just so nostalgic. Look at that! It works. And it looks like there is, wow, there is a save file on it, which means the battery in this is still good. So that's awesome. So out of the three games, it looks like only one of them wasn't working, but. Wow, right, let's try it again. It It's showing. Yeah, see, I, I don't know. It's really odd that it's not reading and it slightly bothers me. So I'm gonna try throwing it in my Game Boy Advance. Okay, it works. So for some reason, the Game Boy just isn't wanting to register it, but you can see here that it does work and it's in full color, I love that. And then continue game. No badges, one Pokemon. All right. 
Okay, so red version works. And I should have one more folder down here. I think it might be this one. Let me put this Game Boy out of the way. Pull the tab on this, and let's see. Yes! Yes, indeed! The final Game Boy game that I have received... It's in okay condition, but we have Pokemon Yellow version. So I finally got my hands on the original Pokemon games released in America. Ooh, need to clean that one a little bit. Let's see. There we go. And it boots up. Let me bring this closer to the camera to make it easier to see. Adjust the contrast. I always loved the yellow version intro more than any other version because it's just Pikachu being a badass. Ah, oh, that was so amazing. It does not have a save file. I do remember that in the listing it said that the battery in this was dead. So granted, these three aren't in the best of condition, but the Pokemon trading card game, minty, minty fresh. And I'm just super excited about that. So I'm going to go ahead and put this Game Boy back over there. Kind of get it out of the way for now. That makes me so happy. Now, the only Game Boy game that I, or there's three Game Boy games actually that I still need to get, that is a copy of Pokemon Emerald. I ordered a copy and the person sent me a fake copy of the game, so I got my money back, returned the item, because they swore up and down that it was authentic, and it was not. And then I need to get my hands on Fire Red and Leaf Green. So anybody that is interested, Drop a comment down below, let me know if you have them, if you're looking to sell them, if you're looking to donate them to the channel maybe, because you just don't use them anymore. And my business info is in my bio on my screen, on my home screen on YouTube. So reach out and let me know, hey, or you can just put down in the comments, hey, I got this, and let me know, because I'm trying to finish the collection. And then we have, here's three more items down here on the ground. And then I'm going to get into the two big important items. So let's go ahead and rip into this. Ha! Ah, this was just kind of a spur of the moment purchase because this is one of my favorite evolutions of Pokemon. I got it off of one of the Facebook groups that I'm in, but it is a Sylveon EX. I just love the artwork. The card's not in immaculate condition, but it is good enough for my collection. I love it. When I saw it, I couldn't pass it up. So that is a card for the collection. Then we have an envelope here. Aha! What we have here, guys, is an addition to my Tyranit Army. I'm trying to be ever so gentle as to not nick the card. I love every time someone sends me a card because especially when they send it in a top loader and they do it properly I love it um, I threw the envelope on the ground who is this from Colin thank you I forgot I didn't forget about you I remember you sent me a card but I couldn't remember which card it was so Colin Glasner if you haven't checked him out see money on YouTube I'll have his channel right here on screen so you can check him out he is a fantastic guy, very, very cool, great content, and he's assisting me in my Tyranitar collection by sending me the Mega Sableye and Tyranitar tag team card. And then I have this envelope. I know exactly what's in this envelope because he sent me a photo on Messenger when he sent it out, and... I was super ecstatic. Oh, hey. Look at that. He sent me a solid state drive. Nah, but, uh, Joshua, 
Josh, if you're watching this, thank you. I appreciate this. I'm so glad you could help me. And that's another item that I'm waiting for because he told me he found the last uh, tag team card that I'm missing. And I got that from him as well. But as you can see here in this box, I have three of the four. It is the same tag team that Colin sent me, but I ordered the one from Colin and then I just ordered these as a set because I'll keep one and send one to PSA. But I have the Rainbow Rare Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. Then I have the regular Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. And then the Ultra Rare Mega Tyranitar, or Mega Sableye and Tyranitar, I'm sorry. Now all I need is the alternate art and Josh is sending me that alternate art, so I am super stoked about that for my Tyranitar collection. And that, that leaves me with two packages to open, but I'm gonna go ahead and break into these real quick because I am a card opening channel. I've gotta open some cards and I'm sure y'all probably don't care about my mail anyway. Um, if you do like the mail day content, let me know and I'll keep it going every time I get like a large a large haul from mail, I'll open it on camera and let you guys see what kinds of goodies are being added behind me and to the set and to my collection. But we have a Garchomp coin. Jeez. And we have Sword and Shield and X and Y Evolutions. And we have the Grookey art card. It's going to go with the other ones. I like these tens because I use them to store stuff, like, you know, coins that I don't use. I'm torn because I don't want to open the Evolutions packs anymore due to the fact that they're not being produced anymore. I mean, granted, they are all over the place where I live. Like, almost every single third-party pack that you would get from Target has X and Y Evolutions in it. So, what I'm, I'm going to open the X and Y Evolutions out of these, and then I will be keeping a full art set for X and Y Evolutions. We got another Garchomp coin, and this is coming out of the Score Bunny, Score Bunny Squad, Score Bunny 10. Man, they jam these cards in here, and it really hurts my soul because that that just ruins your opportunity for a decent grade from PSA. We got the Venusaur, and then we got the Score Bunny art card, and then the final 10 will be Sobble. So let's get into that. And one thing I noticed in my last video that I opened these in, like I said, the content was corrupted, so I couldn't upload the video. I lost everything. The cool thing about these tins that I never noticed before, we got Garchomp right here again. And then we have a Blastoise X and Y Evolutions pack. Man, that's like almost, I'm one card away from the full art set of X and Y Evolutions. And then we have the Sobble there. But one cool thing I didn't realize, I found it out by accident on the last one, but uh, if you peel this little paper off, for those of you that don't know, it has the artwork right on the back of the tin. I did not know this the first time I bought these. And I went back and checked, and it's the same as it is on this. So on the older tins, you still get the full artwork on the back. So we've got three Sword and Shield, three Evolutions... Let's go ahead and rip into these Sword and Shields. Code card. Yeah, it's three. No, it's four. Wow! It's been, uh, <laughs> I don't know how I forgot that. We got Energy, Rotom Bike, Drizzile, By Sharp, Sinistee, Wu Lu, Shelder, Crow Gunk, Silicobra, Reverse, Rare, Noctowl. And the rare is a non-holographic cloister. Alrighty. Going into the next Sword and Shield pack. I'm still looking for that gold Zamazenta. I have a hard time believing that I'm going to get him out of one of these tins. If I do, that would be phenomenal. He's The gold Zamazenta is the only variant of Zamazenta that I am missing from the Sword and Shield base set. So... I'm still searching for it. I've still got plenty of Sword and Shield left that I can open to get them. And I'm going to be doing that very soon. Muno, we got a reverse holographic Mancino on the rare. It is a Golden Zacian! What? Out of a... 
What? Okay, um... How? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm talking about needing a gold Zamazenta, and I pull a gold Zacian out of one of those cheapy tins! How in the hell? Alright, so, um... Yeah! Um... Gold Zamazenta, here we come, I guess. Code card. Alright, energy. Lumberry, Aurora energy, Dubwool, Minchino, Galarian Ponyta, Cottony, Score Bunny, Silicobra, Reverse Rare Cramorant. Is he a rare in this? Yeah, Reverse Rare Cramorant. And the rare is a non holographic Noctowl. Well, then. Um. So, I was gonna say not to worry about buying these tins unless you, you know, want the artwork and like the tins, but apparently. Yeah. Yeah, but either way, Gold Zacian, holy shit. Get into these Evolutions packs. All I need is that Mega Charizard. That would be awesome. Code card. Pretty sure it's three. Yeah, it's three. We got Blastoise Spirit Link, Switch, Nidorino, Diglett, Ghastly, Caterpie, Drowsy, Magikarp, Venusaur, Spirit Link, Reverse Holographic, and the Rare is a non-holographic Beedrill. Code card. We have a Revive, Haunter, Broxgrit, Sandshrew, Poliwag, Diglett, Seal, Nidoran, Reverse Voltorb, and a non-holographic Dugong. I wasted way too much time trying to find those cards, and now my video is running long. I really need to cut my video times down. And the final pack for this opening. Let's see. We've got Misty's Determination, Revive, Haunter, Ponyta, Doduo, Star U, Seal, Charmander, Reverse Holographic Machoke, and the rare it is a Mega Venusaur EX! Two bangers out of three tens. I mean, granted, it's, it's not super expensive, but it's still a banger out of a cheapo tin. I don't remember how much these tins are. I bought them like a month ago and I've been sitting on them. So. Yeah, Gold Zacian V and Mega Venusaur EX. Wow. I'm just getting lucky. The last video, I pulled a vintage pack out of those mystery boxes. So, yeah. Then, I'm back to the packages. Speaking of vintage packs, right here. Let me... I love my X-Acto knife so much. All right. Got that unrolled. Oh my goodness. Bubble wrapped, wrapped in cardboard, everything. They're not super vintage, so don't get me wrong on that. Don't don't go uh, don't go calling the Pokemon police saying that I'm wrongly naming items. These are considered vintage. Not as vintage as base set, jungle, fossil, neo, anything like that, but they are qualif they do qualify as vintage packs. Gonna remove this cardboard. I haven't seen the packs yet, so this is gonna be nice. Oh. There we go. We got black and white boundaries crossed. Each of these packs is individually wrapped. Oh my goodness. I, I love this packaging. I love how we did this. Like, 
That is amazing. Thank you so much. I just threw the envelope. I will put your name on screen because I threw the envelope and I can't remember, but thank you so much. We have black and white boundaries crossed sealed packs. Like the artwork on these is absolutely incredible. I mean, look at Keldio with the with the swirling going on around him. Oh my god. So those are four completely sealed and packaged vintage packs. These are going in the collection and they're going to remain closed for as long as I own them. And I will stick them up here for now with my other vintage packs. And finally, the last item here, I know I'm running short on time, but on Instagram, check me out on Instagram, the Redneck Trainer 10. But on Instagram, there is a company called Pixel Package. I reached out and asked them if they were able to do custom work, for lack of better words. And the, the owner, or representative, I'm pretty sure the owner, reached out to me and said, yes, we can. And when I spoke with them, I said, look, I'm really interested in your products. I think they're absolutely amazing, but I'd like something custom done for my YouTube channel. And they agreed and offered to make it for me. I did pay for this. I am not sponsored by them, but I am definitely shouting them out because their products are amazing. They do anything from Pokemon to Yu-Gi-Oh to like just about anything that's really collectible related. And me being who I am and for my love of Pokemon, I purchased one. And if you haven't seen their artwork and this is the first time, this is amazing. Boom. We have the Redneck Trainer encounters a wild Tyranitar. This is absolutely gorgeous. As you can see in there, it is all three-dimensional. So it it's absolutely insane, the quality of this. And it's a hard, I'm going to assume, acrylic. But, I mean, just look at the detail in all this. It is all, like, what what's the word I'm looking for? Um, canonically correct when it comes to text, imagery, everything. So, I think that is absolutely amazing. And for those of you that haven't seen it, check them out. I'll have, I'll have them linked down below to their site. You can do Pokemon. Like, he's got a bunch of different things on his Instagram page of selecting your first starter, running into legendary Pokemon. He's got the Reggie Trio. Anything you can imagine. I am currently in the process of getting the evolution line of Larvitar. And that's going to be going in the collection. But, I mean, just the quality there. He even... They even threw in my logo there, as I asked, between Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So, that is just... I love it. This is going to be on display behind me at all times or right here on the desk. I haven't decided where I'm going to put it, but that's where it's going. So let me jump up here real quick so I can finish this video off because I have a few little announcements that you don't want to miss. So this video is going a little long. I'm sorry, but I mentioned my 200 subscriber giveaway. And for those of you that are still watching this late in the video, because I have noticed that my view times are a little odd. So for those of you that are still watching, I am going to be doing a very special giveaway. There is a modification out there called the Game Boy Advanced Macro XL. I am in the process of making a custom Game Boy Advanced Macro XL. And for those of you that are still watching, you're going to get an early opportunity and early entry into this giveaway. So for those that are still here, if you want to enter this giveaway, I mean, right now, I currently have one that I'm in the process of making for myself. I ordered some buttons and I'm still waiting for them to come in from eBay. But here is your standard first generation Nintendo DS. Real fat 
bulky, ugly. You know what? Hang on, let me, let me do this. Fat, bulky, just all around big. Well, a Game Boy Advance Macro XL takes advantage of just the lower half of your console. As you can see here, I went with a metallic blue and metallic silver for mine. As you can see, it's missing the buttons or else I would start it up for you and show you that it does work and it's only the bottom screen. And I will be making a custom Pokemon themed Game Boy Advanced Macro XL. This one, I still, like I said, I'm just waiting for the buttons and then I can turn it all on for you and show you that it works. But this is eventually gonna be the finished product. I will be doing something for the special one to get rid of where the ribbon cable comes through. I don't care about that for my personal one. So when this is done, I will be giving you a preview of it working so that you can see just how cool it is because here's your Game Boy Advance, here's your Game Boy Advance Macro XL. They're almost the exact same size, but this takes advantage of a lit screen. And it, it's absolutely phenomenal. And I'm eventually gonna be making one out of a DS Lite as well to make just the standard Game Boy Advance Macro. But I'm waiting for that DS Lite to come in the mail. It is shipping from Japan. And honestly, I just can't wait. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! If only I could fix that in post. But I'm giving you an early opportunity to win the Pokemon themed one. I will not be announcing the actual giveaway for a little while. And for those of you watching, when I announce the giveaway, I want you to comment what I tell you to comment for the giveaway, but I also want you to add one simple phrase at the end of it. I want you to put Tyranitarmy is number one. So Tyranitar Army but combine the word together, Tyranitarmy. Put Tyranitarmy is number one, and you will get two. Well, actually, no. You'll get three entries into the giveaway for this item. Because, like I said, people are watching my videos, and I'm getting a lot of comments asking for code cards. And... I feel like that's the only reason why people are watching, and because it's a mail day video, it might not get very many watches. So for those of you that are that have stuck around this late into the video and watched the whole thing, I'm giving you that opportunity to win this new Game Boy. Well, I'll call it a new Game Boy. But all in all, that's all that I've got for you guys today. I'm really ecstatic about this. The giveaway will be done at a certain point. So when I announce that giveaway, just remember Tyranitarmy is number one. But that's not gonna be the that's not gonna be the actual code word. That's just your addition. But that's all that I have for you guys today. For those of you that stuck around through this over 30 minute long video, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all your support. And remember to share the page with all of your friends. I'm trying to get up there. I'm going for 200 subs remember 200 subs one winner is going to get this elite trainer box and then eventually it's going to go to that but that's all that i have for you guys tonight today whatever time you guys are watching this thank you again for all of your support like comment and subscribe and wherever you guys are you take it easy